My name is Kim Watson and I'm the senior pitcher for the New Mexico State Aggies and welcome to the Aggie Academy. Today's lesson will be learning how to pitch a rise ball. The first thing you need to learn about pitching a rise ball is your grip. I pick my two middle fingers and put them on top of the seams. I want to put them on the left hand side of the seams because whenever I come around I want them to be pushing the seams and making it snap. With my first, my pointer finger, I slightly curl it so then it gets a little more snap on the ball because it's the very last finger to leave the ball. The next thing you need to learn about pitching a rise ball is your finger pressure and the wrist snap. Just changing your finger pressure alone can change what pitch you're throwing. If you have your finger pressure under the ball for a rise ball, then you're going to make it rise. If you have it on the inside of the ball, it's going to make it screw into the batter. So for the rise ball, you want to make sure your finger pressure is staying on the bottom side of the ball. As for your wrist, you want to make sure that your wrist is cocked back and you spin your wrist as if you were opening a doorknob as fast as you can. As for your arm motion, you want to make sure you come around in your arm motion and once you get to about 12 o'clock, your hand is facing backwards. And you come down the back side and then you want to release it right at your hip. If you release it any later, it's going to be too high. If you release it sooner, it's going to be too low and it's not going to rise. So you have to release it right at your hip. The next thing you need to learn about pitching a rise ball is the mechanics of your body. Now the first thing you want to learn is about your legs and where they should land. This line right here is your power line. And you want to land on your power line. If you land too far to the left hand side, it's going to make the pull the pitch outside. If you land too far inside, it's going to make it too far inside. So you want to make sure you land right on your power line. And a good rule of thumb of how your foot lands, your angle of your foot, is going to be if there were a clock facing around your foot, you want to make sure you land right about the two o'clock angle. One last thing you need to know about pitching a rise ball is your body weight and where it needs to be centered. Um, if you're throwing any other pitch, you want your body weight to be centered through your belly button. But for a rise ball, you want to be leaning backwards just a little bit so you can get under the ball to snap it up forwards. So your back leg needs to be bent just a little bit so you can lean back and get under the rise ball. I'm Kim Watson and that's how you pitch a rise ball.